Rivian's 2025.18 update just dropped, and it's the one EV data nerds have been waiting for. Energy App 2.0 finally gives us real insights, adds in multi-factor authentication, charging improvements, and more. Yeah, it is an absolute big one, and now let's unpack it. Let's begin with the redesigned Energy App, one of the most significant additions in this update. You'll find it in the bottom dock. If it doesn't appear, just swipe up and tap the energy icon. Right away, the changes are clear. This new layout gives you way more actionable data at a glance. The old version was fine, but this feels like a real tool. Top left, you'll see two tabs, charging and energy monitoring. Think of it this way. Charging shows what's coming in. Energy monitoring shows what's going out. It's a nice way to split things that just make sense. On the charging screen, you'll see three main panels. The first one shows your current charge shown as estimated miles remaining. This number updates based on your selected drive mode. Tap the mode and you'll get a panel with range estimates for all of the others. Super helpful for quick comparisons. Just below, quick access controls. Open or close the charge port, prep for fast charging, adjust charging amperage, all right there. But one of the most exciting additions is that manual battery preconditioning. Before, Rivian's only preconditioned when you navigated to a charger. But what if you're using a third-party app or heading somewhere off the grid? Now you can prep the battery manually, no matter how you're getting there. And that's not just convenient, it's better for battery health, especially when using fast chargers. Warming the battery helps reduce thermal stress, which can preserve long-term performance and range. When you tap to prep, you'll see a confirmation panel plus real-time info on your charging speed. This level of feedback is a smart touch. You get clarity, control, and a peace of mind. The middle panel features a large slider. Set your target charge percentage. See the estimated range right beside it. Below are some shortcut buttons that make it easy, and the custom button recalls your last setting that you set. Tap the info icon up top to see Rivian's recommended charge levels based on battery health and usage. And then you can switch over to the graph view and you'll see your most recent session visualized. Tap anywhere on the graph to view the battery percentage and the kilowatts at that point. Just below, you get a full summary, total kilowatt hours delivered, charging cost, and total time. This is perfect for tracking long-term efficiency. Next, let's move to the schedule tab. Here's where you can automate charging based on time of day or day of the week. Now, if your electricity provider has time of use rates, this feature could save you serious money. Just set your preferred charging windows and let Rivian handle the rest. On the far right, a circle graph shows where your energy went to the battery, climate, outlets, and all systems, all broken down visually. This is really transparent, helping you to understand your charging session. Now let's jump into energy monitoring. You'll find three panels here as well, projected range impact, energy use, and session details. One of my favorite features is the animated gear guard Gary in the range impact panel. He reacts based on current conditions. Hot outside, he's red and sweaty. Cold, he's shivering. It's a fun way to visualize how weather and habits affect your range. Rivian is just so good at that. But it's not just fun, it is really functional. You'll get estimated usage and tips to improve efficiency. The second panel shows a breakdown of energy used while driving and while parked. Below that, a summary of total energy used and average efficiency. It's a smart way to spot patterns and tweak your daily habits. And the third panel is another circle graph, this time breaking down energy use by system. From climate control to gear guard, you'll see exactly what's pulling power over time. And while you're driving, the energy app gets dynamic, showing real-time usage, how systems are drawing power, and how efficiently you're moving. It's a live window into your driving habits. Energy app 2.0 also connects to real performance boosts. With this update, Rivian has optimized DC fast charging. If you've got a max pack Gen 1, you'll see reduced charging time from 10% to 80%. Standard pack Gen 2, same deal, faster charges. And for the large pack Gen 2, it gets even better. Higher peak charge rates, shorter charge times, more miles added in the first 15 minutes. Perfect for road trips or anyone on a tight schedule. And yes, these gains apply across more temperatures too, making fast charging more consistent. Next, some driver display improvements. First, Rivian's added more detailed 3D models. The visuals look sharper and are more lifelike. In Gen 2 vehicles, 
we get better situational awareness, vehicles across five lanes, oncoming traffic, cross traffic, parked cars, all detected better. In Gen 1 owners, you're not left out. The Go Chime feature is now smarter, cutting down on false alerts when you're stopped behind another car. My car actually just doesn't do it at all. So now hopefully that's fixed. And finally, let's talk about the security because Rivian is now letting you enable multi-factor drive. That means your key or phone alone won't start the car. You'll need to approve it first. To enable, open the Rivian app, head to security and access, and turn on the multi-factor drive. You'll get a prompt and next time you drive, you'll approve it on your phone. After that, you'll only need to verify again if you leave and lock the vehicle. It's seamless and it's optional. I'll leave a list of these smaller updates in 2025.18 right here, but thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Please subscribe for more Rivian updates and news and check the description for full update notes. And remember, adventure is always out there.